Welcome to Nikolai's Aluminix 12. Today I'm comparing Nvidia's two new high-end graphics cards against each other, the GTX 1070 versus the GTX 1080. There's quite the price difference between these two, but does that also apply to performance? Let's find out. Now, though both the GTX 1070 and 1080 cards aren't fully available yet at the time of this video and prices therefore could drop on both any time, there's quite a big price difference. Needless to say, we know the GTX 1080 will perform better, but how well can the 1070 keep up? Onto the benchmarks. So yes, just as we've expected, the GTX 1080 is a very powerful card, easily beating the GTX 1070. That did not come unexpected. There's a pretty big gap when it comes to raw performance between 1070 and 1080. Still, the GTX 1070 does hold up well and is an excellent performer too, as you've seen in the charts. I've been running games at the 1440p screen resolution and got some sweet frame rates out of the 1070. For some reason, the 1080 happens to run a bit cooler with the reference design cooler, but the temperatures aren't all that impressive generally. Power consumption? Yes. Both the 1070 and 1080 are immensely efficient GPUs thanks to the new 16 nanometer Pascal architecture. In terms of video memory, there's a difference. Both GPUs come with 8GB of VRAM. The 1070, however, is equipped with the traditional GDDR5 memory whereas the 1080 features the new and faster GDDR5X. What else is there to be said at this point? Excellent graphics cards. Which one's the better deal? Well, I'm not sure. We need to see the final stable prices for that. But most of the time, the cheaper models tend to have a better price performance ratio in the end. So I hope you found this video somewhat helpful and maybe it helped you make up your mind about which of these two GPUs you should get if you planned on purchasing one of these. Which one would you go for? Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.